Welcome to Oracle ETFs. Today, we have a serious discussion. Many people call it NAV erosion. I call it capital depletion. They say we must choose income or maintain our capital. I say that's wrong. I say that the NAV erosion is the wrong term. From now on, we will call it capital depletion. And that's not what we signed up for, no matter what they try to tell us. Capital depletion is bad. So how does capital depletion happen? Okay, let's say you have $100,000 in a fund, a covered call ETF fund. It could be Yield Max, Round Hill, anyone. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it pays weekly or monthly. Doesn't matter. Okay, if here's the mechanics of how a dividend works so that you cannot cheat the system. It was designed so that the price of the stock or the ETF will drop by the amount of the dividend. Okay, after the the record date, okay, where everybody's set to get paid out. Now, if you have a good underlier or as well, not only that, but if you've picked the right stock, ETF, whatever, it should naturally come back up and fill up that little gap that you had from when you were paid out the dividend so that you've actually made a profit of the dividend. Apparently, something's going on. There are one of three reasons that, there's one of three reasons that your capital is evaporating. And, well, let me just go into it. Number one, this has never been an issue in the old paradigm of dividend investing because you would get a dividend which would be very, very little, like they spit in your wallet every quarter, okay? And so it's easy, plenty of time for a stock to recover that dividend. When you get into weekly, this is a new paradigm now, the monthly and the weekly especially the monthly, what happens is if they are trading covered calls and making a profit, that profit should refill the gap and your NAV should stay whole. That's why we're in this. That's why we collect dividends. Now, if they are doing something shady, like let's say they're a new fund with not much track record, And they decide to jack the yields. Jack up the yields to attract people, in essence, almost to take advantage of those who are blinded by the yield. Blinded by the yield. You see that yield, you think it's incredible until you get in and realize what's going on. They've misled you. They're intentionally overpaying the payouts more than they are earning. That's why your capital is going down. That's what you perceive as NAV erosion. I have been on the hunt to fight this. So, number one, the number one reason why your NAV is eroding, they are paying too much to entice people into their fund. Straight up, that's what it is. Number two, they are bad traders. They are bad traders. Or maybe, like in the case of some of the um, pioneering funds in this field without mentioning names, their prospectuses were written in a time that's already become prehistoric. For example, many of the yield max funds, they are aware that they have prehistoric, already archaic prospectuses that limit them and hold them back. The final and last way that your NAV erodes is just picking bad. You picked a bad stock. Now, does reinvesting help you get out of a bad stock? No. You are just investing in something that keeps going down. So the trick is to find the key to capital depletion. What I am looking for and the strategies I will offer you 
and I have in my previous videos, are very simple. We want capital preservation and the highest possible yield. And I will be the one to bring it to you. It's funny because when I look at our friend Brad, we were on the same page today. Hamburger, a.k.a. Income Architect. Our Marilyn Monroe of spreadsheets. And I left him this post. We are thinking the same direction. I'm going to do a video on capital depletion. Not never ocean, never ocean. Capital depletion. I think if they are paying a properly earned distribution, you should not have capital depletion or be f depletion or be forced to reinvest. My belief is in a perfect world, you should not have capital depletion or be forced to reinvest if they are paying a properly earned distribution. These are the three reasons for capital depletion. Fund managers overpaying to entice new people and take advantage of them. Bad trading, and of course, a bad underlier. You need a stock that goes sideways to up and to the right in order for it to be a winner in a covered call strategy. Today and only today, I'm gonna to leave you a link to get into my Discord. I'm going to delete it after 24 hours. It's going to be, we have a great community here. Don't come in with Nitro. We'll ban you right away. Why? Because people tend to impersonate me. Speak, brother. Pirate Dylan said, and of course can't wait for Oracle's VID, the truth of capital depletion, real reasons behind NAV erosion and why it's really no good. I really was under the impressed Zion. It didn't matter if it goes down. It does matter, bro. It does matter. Did you see my video? AMZ FBY, FBY Earnings Season Profit Ripping Manifesto featuring the Ulti girl. I'm going to go back to Ulti, but not now. Right now, I'm creating my own Ulti. So, me and Hamburger, okay, have gotten together and we've come to this conclusion once again. This is your video on capital depletion. I'm going to find a solution. You got to subscribe. Okay, it's not a fund that doesn't pay out much. It's a combination of the right funds at the right time structured properly. And I feel, again, I think if they are paying a properly earned distribution, you should not have capital depletion or be forced to reinvest. There are three reasons for capital depletion. Fund managers overpaying to entice the commuters, I mean new people, and take advantage of them. Bad trading, and of course, a bad underlier. Tomorrow looks like a good day, but it's early. Anyway, we don't know yet. Leave your comments below. Tell me your nav depletion, capital depletion stories. I'll tell you from my world that I come from in smart contracts known as DAPs, okay? Back in the day in crypto, we had dividends, and the truth was if the price of the contract, the smart contract, which was like an NAV, was going down, 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 no amount of dividends or reinvesting in the world will save you. You need the right underlier, the right stock, the right covered call fund at the right time, and you need to be watching the right channel. My next video, so four months ago I did a video called this Tesla sandwich. I watched a lot of other YouTubers try to do it and they did it wrong. They don't understand the mechanics of it. So I'm gonna show them how to do it right. Tell me below in my next video, would you like me to discuss with you the proper mechanics of a Tesla sandwich and how to do it properly? Just tell me below, sandwich me bitch. Have a nice day.